Hey, what's up guys? I'm Theo Joe, and today we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna do a holiday tech unboxing, and I wanna thank Verizon for sponsoring this series of unboxings so I can give you guys some fun ideas for gifts to give other people during the holidays, or maybe just a gift for yourself. So, why don't we just get started? Now today what we're gonna be unboxing is the Oculus Rift. I'm sure plenty of you are familiar with this already, and I can tell you just from holding this, this is a quality box. And look at this, a braided cord handle. I've never seen that before. This is gonna be fun, I can tell you that right now. So why don't we go over to the table right now and open this guy up, and then afterwards what we can do is actually set it up and give you guys some first impressions as well. So that should be fun. So let's go. All right, I am highly excited to do this unboxing. This is gonna be good. Now let's take a look at this outside of the box. This is kind of like a, a sleeve here, so we can take a look at the other side. And this is the actual box. So it just kind of shows what you get. You get the remote control thing, the camera slash sensor, as well as the headset, of course, and actually an Xbox One controller. So this is what you would use to control it right now. The touch controllers, the hand controllers haven't come out yet. They will possibly be out, but depending on when you pre-ordered it actually. And then it just shows a couple other games you can get. And I think that's about it. So why don't we open this guy up right now? All right, this is gonna be a, they gotta test you, see? They, they wanna make sure that you can open the box in order to use it. Now, I know you can't obviously feel this box, but I will say this is a really neat feeling box. It's got like a rubberized coating on it. Enough about the box, although, you know, I could talk all day about the box. You guys wanna see more of the box? No, you don't. So let's, let's open it up. Here we go. All right, so here we go. Now, let me tilt this so you can see what's in the lid. So we have the little controller here. It's actually attached to the box. It pops off right here. It was kind of secured in place. It says, let's get started. So it tells you where to go, oculus.com slash setup. Here's this little controller, got some buttons. Seems like, uh, I'm not sure if that's a touchpad. It's got like a ring, almost like an old iPod kind of thing. Now, obviously this is the headset and you can see it's got actual headphones on here attached to it. You got a big cord. This is kind of like, almost like a fabric, but not really, it's like a plastic fabric. I don't really know how to describe it. If I had to guess, this was plastic with a texture added to it. On the front, it's very smooth. This is where you're gonna get all the LEDs, which are captured by the sensor to track it. And then there's also some on the back, from what I understand. You can adjust it like this. So why don't we put this down for a second and take a look at the sensor and what else we get in here. So this feels again like a quality product, very modern look dude. You can kind of see it's like a, just a pure cylinder st sitting on a stand. And I do believe you can take off this camera to attach to a mini tripod or something like that if you wanted to. Now I know there is more, oh look at this, look at this pull tab. This is, this is some well thought out packaging. I gotta say, Oculus props to that. So what is this? So this is gonna be the Xbox One wireless receiver that you use with the Xbox One controller. And again, the reason they included this is they wanted to have some sort of controller, I guess, but the touch was not out yet. Really unfortunate that they didn't release the Oculus with the touch controllers, but at least they're coming out soon. In here, we get another mini little booklet, health and safety, boring, fragile. Why would they put the fragile inside the box? Isn't that something you're supposed to know outside ahead of time? Stickers, we got some stickers and a, a cloth to clean the lenses. And that appears to be it, all this is locked down. And there might be some surprises if you break it, I don't know. <laughs> Again, amazing box, honestly. Maybe this is why it's so expensive. Half the price goes into the box. So this is everything we've got. Why don't we take another look at the headset, closer look, we didn't really get a chance before. So inside you can see those lenses, they're currently covered up with plastic. I'm gonna keep those on for now, I don't wanna scratch them. And then here we can see how you adjust it. You basically pull on this. And then here, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this is kind of, this adjusts the width of the lenses inside. I don't know if you can see them going closer together and further apart to adjust for your inner pupillary distance to make it look better. Then we got the headphones on the side. They claim, Oculus claims these are really good headphones, although I think they are detachable in some way if you wanna use your own headphones, but they claim that these are really good headphones and that you wouldn't want to use your own. So we'll see about that. So this is it, Oculus Rift, very fun unboxing. Gotta say, this was probably actually a fun unboxing. Sometimes they're not that exciting, but they really, went out of their way to make it an enjoyable unboxing with really cool packaging. So I'm gonna go ahead and set all this stuff up and then come back and give you guys some first impressions, what I think about it, is it comfortable, does it look good, 
all that sort of stuff. So stay tuned for that. I'll be right back. All right, so I've been trying this out for a little while. It's pretty good. Let me put it on so you guys can see what it kind of looks like. So it goes on, you put the ear earphones just like this right over and it's pretty comfortable. It's not too tight. It does kind of push on your face a little bit, but the Vive does that as well uh, because it is strapped to the front of your face as opposed to something like the PSVR, which kind of sits on top of your head, but it still is comfortable. It's very lightweight, more comfortable than the Vive, I would say. As for visuals and tracking, that's good as well. The tracking was fine. It was maybe a couple times stuttered a tiny bit, but I didn't really notice it. And the graphics, the screen looks pretty clear. It's got a little bit of screen door effect, but that's what you're gonna get with any modern VR headset at this generation. I think without hand controllers though, it almost feels like it's not complete because I've used hand controllers with the Vive before, and I mean, that just adds an entire new dimension. So I think if you're gonna get this, you probably wanna go ahead and get it with the touch controllers if they're out, if you're able to order them. Because when you use the Xbox controller, it almost just feels like, I don't know, like a big screen that's wrapped around you as opposed to with the hand controllers, it's like you're actually in the moment. So I don't know, it's still nice though. I will say ease of use is way better with this. You just stick the camera on, put this on and plug it all in. You're good to go with a Vive, for example. You have to put up the base stations. Way more complicated, although that does get better tracking as a result. But either way, it's a cool device. I think you'll like it either way, so uh, I'm happy with it. All right, so that was pretty cool. Hopefully you guys had some fun watching it as well. It was definitely one of the better unboxings I've ever done. You could tell they put work into that packaging. And of course, I do want to thank Verizon again for sponsoring this video and letting me give you guys some ideas for gifts this holiday. And with the holidays coming up, I do want to make sure you guys have plenty of ideas. So if you want, you can click here and go to another list of videos by other creators doing other holiday unboxings. So you should enjoy those as well. Check them out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I definitely want to hear what you think. And if you have any questions as well, I'll be looking forward to hearing from you. And as usual, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.